Every little thing I do Good evening, everybody. Welcome to the Icon Show. I am your host tonight, Jemmo. Um, I, I have been waiting to have this man on, or just not even to have him on my show, but just to speak to this man, because it's been maybe, what, a good 10 years or so? Since... I don't think it's been that long, but no? almost, probably. Oh, it's close, close to that. Yeah. But um, so many things I want to I talk to you about it but first let, let's go ahead and give you a proper introduction sir mr mike durban from the mike durban show and get my go show yes yeah yeah what what else are you doing these days uh that's pretty much it all right yeah all right well good good yep. so yeah man um yeah no music for me i'm kind of uh i guess i'm retired from that are you really that that's unfortunate it is you know how it is yeah. You know, you yeah. want to do I know you want to do it. For sure. Yeah, same. For sure. So, yeah, yeah, it's it's it sucks. I mean, who knows? Maybe maybe when this whole uh COVID business is over, we can You know, <laughs> maybe we can do one of those we can do one of those virtual uh reunions. A lot of bands have done that, so I I've, I've seen that. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah. I'd be down for that. Yeah. We'll call yeah. Jeremy. I don't know where Joel is. I don't either. No. <laughs> <laughs> So for those that don't know, uh, Mike and I were in a band years ago called Rucklaroo. You may have heard me mention it on the show in the past, and, and some of you guys may know the band. I don't know. But Mike um, started out as the photographer of the group, who by far was the best photographer I know. Uh, are you still doing that? No. Oh, no. shit. Yeah. All right. We got a lot just to with, talk Just about. The, with the iPhone. Okay. Yeah. All right. And the iPhone's great. I mean, yeah. You know, yeah. Works. Yeah. It works. So Mike took pictures of us for uh, for a little while, and then back and forth with bass players, and we finally Mike just just joined, and it gelled so well, and 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 the uh, the Rock Larue was really officially born. I think that day that you joined, sir. Thank you. Yeah, I think yeah. I brought I brought us to a whole new level. Definitely, you know? definitely. You you took us to that very next step that where we needed to be, and and we could have been so much further. But you know, yeah. Well, I know happen. you you guys were headed that way. It was just I just happened to join at the right time. It was good oh. timing for me, you know. Well, no, it propelled us to to the bigger shows, man. Since yeah, you came. Yeah, yeah, it was great. It was great. So thank you. I mean, yeah. And, well, within three months, I think no, maybe two. We were we played that first double door, and then that's the right. Metro right yeah. after that. So. Yeah. Yeah. Park West, I think we played, right? Park West was in yeah. March, March yeah. of 2000. Yeah, yeah. That, that was... <laughs> I still have those, some of those dates in my head still. Like, <laughs> I know the Double Door was January something, 2000. The Metro was... January were, 21st, I think. Was it the same month? I think so. I think it was wow. very close to each other. Yeah, very wow. close to each other. But wow. Yeah, man, so much to catch up on. <laughs> yeah. Just, yeah, but first off, I, I want to start by apologizing to you, sir. Okay. For you know, because I should have been more of a friend to you, and I should have been more in contact with you. And I know I, I've reached out to you before in the past about something ridiculous about some, taking down some Skokie Swift video or whatever, yeah. and that was kind of the end of that. And, but thank you for not which, which, which was a tremendous video. I mean, I think that's it's fantastic. some of it's some of your best work, and it's some of yeah. my best video work. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, I watched it. The, I think you. You played it on one of your shows, right? I did. I played it for the ending. I played it in yeah. its entirety. Yeah. And I watched it. I'm like, this is fucking tremendous, man. It was a great camera work. And again, you. Well, I, I just wish you would have done more shows with that. I mean, it, that uh, fucking whole show was amazing. It, <laughs> I, don't, I don't think uh, Philip or the rest of the band wanted to do any more after that. You they should were. have just done it with, with tra backing <laughs> tracks. You should have gone up there in that outfit. Oh, yeah. That character. Yeah. And, and people would have came to see that, man. I yeah well may, I don't know it's stuff now with kids to yeah. kind of do stuff like that but yeah yeah that was a definitely a lot of fun yeah <laughs> but yeah I again um I'm sorry for not reaching out to you sooner and then leaving kind of a bad taste with, with our text from years ago about you taking it down and thank you again for not doing that I was an idiot <laughs> um you know and I, I wish you know I kind of regret that honestly Mike because you know I. I always thought of you as a really good friend, a fucking down earth person, really fucking cool. 
you you invite me to your home on numerous occasions so to watch you know royal rumbles and, and wrestlemanias we've been to fucking a wrestlemania in seattle you know i went back and watched that video that you did you know, every so often maybe a couple of months ago i showed my son little Jemo, yeah um this video and he's like holy shit you know because he's really big into wrestling now that video has like 350,000 hits. Yeah, like, man. It's like, yeah. <laughs> I'll never achieve that with anything else I've done. That's you know? fucking awesome. Yeah. And the, the worst thing is, it's like for some reason, when I uploaded it, you know, 15 years ago, right? It was like a, the worst quality, you know, video quality. So it's like, it looks like shit. Well, you know? yeah. But yeah, 15 years ago, you had what? Probably the best. Yeah. It was good then. Or whatever it was then. Yeah. Yeah. Compared to the 4K shit that they're doing now and whatever else. But. Yeah, and I, dude, I've been telling we should do a whole show. Like, I want to have you on my show. And we're going to talk about WrestleMania 19. Oh, I mean, I'd dude, love to. Love just the to. fact that you snuck it, or you snuck into the party. Yeah, you snuck into the official WrestleMania party. Yeah, and you came back and you got me, and then I went in, but then we got busted right away. So right, we'll tell and, that on my show. Yeah. Okay. All right. I, just a quick teaser though. When we got busted. We were with a group of uh, big name people there, yeah. and then as we're, as we're being escorted out by Seattle's finest, I think we were we walked in between Triple H, Triple H, and Ro Stephanie, and Stephanie. I think yeah. The Rock or, or Stone Cold was right there too. I don't know. I was. Pretty, I don't. I don't remember that. I remember I didn't have my glasses on, so I couldn't really see clearly. But I yeah. just, dude, you know, it's Triple H when oh, he's yeah. Yeah. five feet from you. You know, and the nose, yeah, yeah. It was <laughs> and Stephanie and. Uh, Dude, I, I we got kicked out by what was the guy's name? It wasn't Tony Gurria, was it? It was. I don't know. I, I was talking to somebody that I had no idea who was trying. I was talking to because I was trying to fit in. You yeah. Know? <laughs> and it was, um, yeah. That's that's what they said and tapped us on the shoulder. Come on, let's go. And all we got was a ticket. Yeah, we were banned from the hotel. <laughs> yeah. you know, it's all right. Oh, dude. yeah. I'd love to come on anytime, man, to talk about that. That. Yeah, we got to talk for, about that because. For sure. uh, yeah, for sure. <laughs> and we also went to Money in the Bank 2011, which is a legendary fucking oh, show. Yeah, the you biggest know? uh pop, I guess, whatever, whatever you guys call it nowadays. I, I'm not, yeah. you know, but yeah, that was that was phenomenal, phenomenal. Yeah. Weren't you driving like Ric Flair there or something? That was a different pay per view. That's right. That was at Allstate or Rosemont, whatever it was called yeah. back then. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Wow, wow. Yeah. And do, do you talk about who you drove on your shows? You know, I got one friend of mine that was with he. You know, he worked with me back then in the limo company. Mm -hmm. And dude, he is the biggest character. He's so funny. He can yeah. tell a story like nobody else. And I, I want to get him on. My, I keep asking him come on my show, because we could do like a, a four hour show just the stories between sure. us, who we've driven. I mean, he's driven like just dozens of famous people, and you know, I, I have as well, but not as right. many as him. Right. So yeah, those stories will get told one day. Yeah, well, I can't. I can't wait to hear, man. That's yeah. yeah. I, I know some of them. The Randy Orton one with the yeah. McDonald's. I drove Randy Orton yeah. to his house in St. Louis. Uh, Ray Mysterio, Ric Flair. Mm -hmm. Um, there's one, a couple of the wrestlers. I forget who. Yeah, that's yeah. Well, speaking of your show, let's uh, let's talk about that a lot, a little bit. You talk about pro wrestling, music, movies, video games. Um, how? What? What was the brainchild of this? What did you? How did this come about? I didn't ask for it. I didn't want it. Like I, you know, I always listen to podcasts, but right. I never ever thought that I would have one. I didn't want one. You know, it was yeah. it was given to me. Um, the way it started was, you know, Vince Russo, right? Of course, yeah, yeah, the greatest writer in WWF history. Um, so he has like a bunch of podcasts. He's got his own network. I mean, he's like, you know, he's big time. Oh sure. So I was I was listening to his show for a couple of years, and then they have this thing on there where if you buy the producer's T-shirt, you can go on the show with them for you know a few minutes. Right. So I did that, and then um, he had me on there. And normally people get like five minutes with him, five or seven minutes, and you know it's a real quick thing. Right. I was on there for a half hour the first time, and so we just kept talking, and and it was a really it was cool, you know. Yeah. Um, it yeah. was a great time, and. Uh, I, I went on again like two months later and I think a third time I went on and the third time, do you know what Starcast is? Yeah. I, I did see that video that you put up and then yeah. Mr. Russo commenting like, Hey, you know, if you fucking do this, I'll yeah. give you your own spot on the show, which was obviously very so, cool. So Starcast was a wrestling convention. Right. And I think it was in, it was a, it was actually Labor Day weekend. So it was this weekend, two years ago. Yeah. 
So I told Vince, I'm like, yo, I'm going to this thing. It's here in Chicago. I'm going to this. I'm going to make a documentary. And um, he's like, oh, my God. He's like, if you do that, I will give you your own special on the network. And, yeah. um, you, you know, whatever you want to do, you, do it. So I was like, okay. So I did it. And um, and phenomenal work on that, by the way. That was, thank I you. Mean, the was editing. A lot of work. Yeah. Of work. It was, I mean, like watching a fucking full feature film. Like, yeah. That. Yeah. It was nice. So, yeah, it was like a documentary of, of the of the weekend and then i i watched it with with vince and then he and i would do the commentary in between the, the segments and um it went over really well everybody loved it and then right. a month later he he was adding shows to his network and he asked me he's like hey i want to do a music review show with you and i was like okay yeah sure why not yeah i mean i i would have been happy like doing behind the scenes video work for him. Like right, I always right. offer that to him. Cause that, that's what I really like doing is mm -hmm. behind the scenes video stuff. So, um, he wanted to do a show with me. I'm like, all right, I've never done that before, but I'll, I'll try, you know, you can't tell him no. If someone's no, offering no. you this, you can't no, tell him no. So, fucking Russo, you don't say, no. yeah, you don't say no to him. So. <laughs> Come on. So yeah, I think we did, we only did like eight episodes. It was every other week for two, you know, two or three months right. or whatever. Um, and then I think he just got, he had too much on his plate. He had just started a new show with, with this other guy and it was on Westwood one and they had a Patreon. So right. all of a sudden he had tons of work in his lap that he had to deal with. And he, he canceled three of his shows. Mm -hmm. He canceled the one with me. He canceled the one with big Vito LaGrasso, you know, him? right. Right. So he canceled his show. And then there was another show that he canceled with some, some woman. Um, so then he he was like you know you can still do a sh the show on the network i'll let you you know and i was like i don't know i don't really want to you know right. but then I, I thought about it over the weekend and i'm like i'll you know i asked him can i just i don't want to do the music review show because i hate it i hate talking about music mm -hmm. you know it's kind of weird so yeah i was like can i can i just have like a you know a, a show where i can do whatever i want and he's like yeah anything you want to do you, wow. you got it yeah wow. so um so then I just thought, okay, I'll call it. I couldn't think of a name. So I'm like, I'll just call it, you know, the Mike Durban show. Of course. Because you know what? Nobody's going to ever take that name. You know, that it's like th this guy, Johnny Podcasting, who you've heard me mention. We'll get, we'll get into him for sure. Yeah. <laughs> yeah I saw that on your list. This, yeah. So that guy, he can't think of a fucking original idea to save his life. Like, right. You know, everything he's came up with, with it, which is his old network name, his show name, uh, the new network name that he changed it to everything's already taken like mm. you know there's there's five different wrestling with realities out there you know right so i thought nobody will take this name so that was it yeah there you go so yeah. i don't i don't really like like it's not a wrestling show it's it's everything it's music wrestling um comic books yeah you know video games everything you know okay. i'll have anybody on beautiful, beautiful. all walks of life there you go. Well, yeah, I've seen some interesting characters on there, actually. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. There's uh, this guy from New Jersey. Like, his name kind of skips my mind. A heavier set fellow. Hansy? Yes, I think that's him. Yeah. 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 He's he's from the Howard Stern Whack Pack. Oh, is he really? Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Look, look him up one day. Look up Hansy. Yeah. All right. All right. Yeah, definitely. Will. Millions, millions of videos come up. That guy, he's he's a good guy, man. Yeah, yeah. Uh, he gets he gets a lot of hate and a lot of he, a lot of people bully him online, but he's, right. he's cool to me. So yeah, well, good, good. Yeah. Yeah, maybe we'll get him on this show one day. Who knows? He probably he probably would go on. Yeah, that would be great. Yeah. yeah. Well, awesome. So let's uh, let's get in before that though. And this is so. So why why aren't you doing a show now with with uh, Mr. Russo, if I may ask? Why am I doing it with him? Why why aren't you doing one now? Oh, with him? Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Well, so so I did my show on his network, Russo's right. brand. Um and I think I did it for almost 30 episodes on his okay. network. Uh but there's a lot of restrictions on the on Realm network. You can't okay. number one, you can't play music. You can't play like licensed mm -hmm. music. You're not supposed to on any podcast actually. But oh, this is true. Yeah, I've gotten flagged. Yeah. Well, YouTube, YouTube, you definitely can't do it. So, right. um, so I was like, dude, I'm talking about music. I'm we're doing an album review. I can't play the music in the background. Yeah. You know, just and stuff like that. And there was a, a bunch of other stuff that I I kept running into problems with the the guy from Realm, not Vince, but the guy from Realm. A okay. bunch, just a bunch of shit. All right. So, All right. um, my friend Joe Feeney, who is the producer of the Conan show, 
uh, mm-hmm. keep keeping it 100. Um, I was always on his show and this other guy, Husey. So we would always do shows together. We all have our own shows, but we'd always do shows together. And um, Joe has the Creative Control Network. That's his podcast network. And it, okay. it, it yeah, it's Creative Control. You do whatever yeah. you want to do. So, right. so I was like, can I play music on there? Yeah, you can do whatever you want. So okay. I, unfortunately, I, well, fortunately for me, um, I left Russo's brand and went to the Creative Control Network. And was, uh, was he okay with this? Vince was Vince was hurt by it. Yeah, mm-hmm. he was kind of upset by it. That yeah. I, he says I didn't tell him, but I, I, you know, I, I did tell him, but you right, know, he just didn't. You know, it's a long story, complicated yeah. story, but yeah. um, yeah, he was kind of uh, hurt and mad at me when I when I left. So, yeah, but everything's fine now. Well, after good. after about a month, he he wrote me an email. He's like, he's like, all right, we're good. I'm like, okay, yeah, so, yeah. yeah. Well, great. And I've had I've had him on my show more since i changed networks than when i was on his network look at that yeah. there you go yeah he's yeah. he's he's cool man he's the best guy oh that's great yeah yeah i know it's it's great to see that interaction you guys have it's like you you're, yeah. you're best friends almost you know? oh, no, I would say that. <laughs> yeah oh you guys you know discussing uh that no oh, those albums all the records that he has and you have and comparing shit yeah. and you know talking about dogs yep yeah, yeah. speaking of dogs how's melina She's good. She's ten now. Yeah, and, you know, you named her. <laughs> I was, I, w- I wanted to bring that up. It was on my thing, but I'm like, I'll, I'll let it be. So yeah. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I do remember that. I think yeah, little she... little Gemma was there at the time. No, I don't know. I don't know if he was there. Maybe it was because I remember you take you took uh, photographs of he and I when he was yeah. a little guy. Yeah, before um, that was when you were going to leave. That's right. That's right. Yeah, and then you came. You came right back. Hmm. Yeah, Detroit. <laughs> Detroit. You were there for about a weekend, I think, and then you came back. Home. Yeah, something like that. Yeah. yeah, maybe two weeks. I don't know. Yeah, that was a uh, that was a lot of fun, a lot of fun. Yeah. But nonetheless, um, so get my go. Yeah. <laughs> this now, uh, is, isn't it the dumbest fucking name you've ever heard? Like, what does that mean? Get my go. I I I've never I when I when you first said it, I I didn't understand it, and I like tried googling it. Nothing. I don't know what the fuck this is. <laughs> Sounds like, is this something new the kids are saying? <laughs> the fuck has got my go? So obviously, you know, I did a little more research with it. And then, like, who the fuck's this Johnny Podcast guy? What's his deal? You know? he, he gave himself that name. Yeah. He, okay. To make a long story short, this guy, Johnny Podcasting, he calls himself. Yeah. He was on the Creative Control Network on Joe Feeney's thing. Then he thought he could go and do what Joe did. So he copied Joe's business model exactly formed his own network right right and um then he started buying downloads and using click farms and Mm. youtube views and everything he was just cheating on every in every way possible he was cheating and he would uh tell advertisers that you know he he gets this many views then he'd get a sponsor but then you know it wouldn't last because they'd figure out no he doesn't have any listeners at all right you know so um there was a battle between his network and the creative control network. Uh, maybe it's definitely about a year, a year and a half now that it's been going on. Um, so I forgot, I forgot how it happened, but we were like, we got to listen to, to one of his shows and then comment on it. Like do a listen along <laughs> right. me and Joe and, and Husey. And we did it and it was so fucking funny, man. So I, you know, we, I just like, you know, I'm not going to do anything half ass. So I, I started like putting production value into it, and and now it's like a full full on thing. There's T-shirts, right? Know, yeah, yeah. I'm on mugs. Mine. Yeah. So get my go. This guy Johnny Podcast, like he has a really rough time with the English language. Like he he brutalizes the fucking language, man. Um, not that I'm any better, but you know, I don't claim to be. But he he sounds like he just got off a boat somewhere, you know. Even though he's, you know. No, so he it, has a lot it, of these things that he says, and they don't make any sense because he he'll combine phrases and get them wrong. Like you know, get my goat. That's the phrase, right? You know, ah, this guy he gets my goat. No, but he's <laughs> he would say get my go. He said it. We have four recorded instances of it that we use as drops. Yeah, I saw that episode. So um, there's got to be more of them, but we have four of them uh, recorded. So. Um, he just kept saying it, and then we we're like, "All right, that." I was like, "That's got to be the name of the show. That's it. Get my go." 
Yeah. And it's caught on now, dude. We have we have way more viewers of our videos of of us making fun of his shit <laughs> than he ever had listeners. So it's that's so crazy. That's yeah. crazy. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's what you get when you buy uh subscribers from India and shit like that. India, yeah. That's he has um from. he's he's done a lot of good for the people of India though. That, well, they, <laughs> he's pumped a lot of money into that economy so good on you john thank you oh man but i have so much fun doing that that like i've kind of pushed my own show off like i'm only doing that like once a month now because mm -hmm. i would rather do this this is so much more fun oh yeah and it's yeah and you don't really have to stick to a schedule really you know do it whenever the fuck you want yeah. it's great me i try to do my, sh my my live shows every tuesday because that's when i'm usually off of work and you know Nine o'clock is a good time for the kids to go to bed. Yeah. So there's no distractions down here. But yeah, that's pretty much it. And then we do interviews like this, you know, any anytime. Yeah. Anytime. Yeah. Where where's Melina at? She around? Yeah. She'll come in. Yeah. She's uh she's getting old. She's got a lot of gray hair and white hair. Mm, yeah. yeah. Do you do you uh do you remember Brooklyn? Gemma's dog Brooklyn? Uh the name is familiar. Yeah, yeah. The big Black Lab, Half Pit, or whatever. There she is. There she is. Oh, she's beautiful. Yeah, she is. Hey, sweetheart. Hey. Hi. It's been a while. How have you been? Huh? Oh, yeah, she's looking so old, but she still runs, and she's still yeah. in good shape. So yeah. That's great. That's great, man. Yeah. You got a huge tattoo of her on your back, right? I do, yeah. My entire back is covered. Can I see that? Uh, I'll send you a picture. Okay. There yeah, you I, don't go. Want, I don't want to take the shirt off. No. <laughs> I just say dinner, you know? Yeah. Yeah. So good. Good. Yeah. Fucking A. So now with um, you doing the whole thing with Vince Russo and stuff, that obviously opened up the doors for you to, to you know, do get on Conan show and Disco Inferno and, and obviously Vince Russo and stuff like that. How... How was it that you got to meet those guys? Was it through Vince or, you know, were you just taking photos at a wrestling event or something? No, um, Disco Inferno is on Conan's show and he's also on one of Vince's shows. Okay. So um, I, I think I forgot how, but they all knew who I was, you know, because I right. was on Vince's network and then I was on Joe's. So that, I mean, they all, everybody knew who I was. So, right. Okay. Um, well, Disco, he kind of rips on Joe and, and Vince for having people like me just giving them their own shows. He's like, right. You know, he's like, why is, why would you give him a show with well, this guy's nobody, you know? And he's right. The thing is, I agree with him hundred percent. Yeah. You know? So I, I don't care, but disco Inferno is like, he's the funniest guy. I think Yeah, he is remember... my favorite podcaster because he's on <laughs> keep it at 100, which is one of my favorite shows. Then he's sure. the show with him and Vince is like my other favorite show. Yeah. So yeah. Well, I think if I remember correctly, there was a time where he would, he would, like you said, he would kind of give you shit and Always. not want to come on your show, right? Yeah. And yeah. so just like kind of recently, I guess, he started popping in and you, you guys are okay. Yeah, he he was on my, my episode 40, I think. I finally got mm -hmm. him on and um, it was, yeah, it was tremendous. And then <laughs> I had him on episode 50. So I, yeah. I want to get him on 60. I want to have him on every 10 episodes. He's, there you go. he's the best guest, man. So yeah. Yeah. Uh, but but Conan is the other one. Now Conan is is a guy that's like I will never do anybody's show, ever. Like he doesn't do anyone's show, right? Um, I mean, unless you're an actual wrestler, or a big mm -hmm. name. So, but I don't know what happened, man. But Conan, he asked me to do um, a, a, I think it was a Stevie Wonder top. I think it was it was a top five songs of Stevie right. Wonder or something. So we did that from for my show and then it was also on their patreon so wow yeah wow. so i haven't released it yet but um i think i will it, it'll be coming up soon yeah, yeah, yeah that, that was amazing man so nice man. conan, well, it, conan yeah. is, is the best man he's so cool that's that's awesome <laughs> now with um you going to to like, these conventions and shit um and uh, patrick is with you sometimes right um, he, he it hasn't was, been a while. He was with me at one day of Starcast. Okay, no. yeah, yeah. Cause I think I I saw that video as well, and that that was fucking just gold, man. Yeah, gold. Yeah, yeah. it's great. Good stuff there. Thank now you. you relocated from, well, you were in California. Yeah, you came back to Chicago, so you moved from Chicago to California. And in California, you got on on a show out there, right, with uh, XM Radio or something. No, no, I was never on that. Hmm. Um, 
Yeah. Oh. When I when I was there, I was just a, a just a listener of the show. Oh, yeah. okay. No, I thought you fucking worked for those guys. Well, I did some video work, but okay. that was after right. I came back here. Yeah. Right, 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 right. Okay. Yeah, I I list, I started listening to them. The show is called Cavino and Rich, and they're on yeah. Sirius XM. I've been a listener there since 2009, and then I met them the the month after I moved to California in in June of 2012. I met them like a month later. Okay. And then um, I think I met them again in New York. I went to the New York studio a couple times. And um, I think around, I moved back here in October of 2014. Right. So maybe about a year later, I uh, I started doing some video work with them. Okay. Yeah. I would edit the, like all their interviews. I would edit those together. And, and uh, yeah. 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 I did that right, for about good. a year. Good. And what kind of show is that? It's like I honestly haven't listened. It's a um it's like a guy show, you know, right. but gr- girls listen to, but it's like it's it's music, it's pop culture, sports, yeah. um yeah. everything, man. Okay. Yeah. Right. Well, I'll, give, I'll definitely give that a, a listen then. Yeah. 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 If you don't have Sirius XM, they have a podcast too every week. Okay. Yeah, I, I have it uh it's in it's in one of the cars. Okay. Which one? Yeah, how how many how many cars do you have? I had 3. So I had, um, uh, and I just sold uh, one actually two weeks ago. Okay. Yeah, yeah. It was uh, it was a gift from my dad who drove it up here for my wife for her birthday. Yeah. <laughs> it was a Toyota Prius. I had a Prius. They're fantastic, man. Mine was a lemon. Oh, that sucks. No, yeah. this one this one was great. It had what maybe two hundred and sixty thousand miles on it. It looked great. It ran fine. Um, yeah. Just had to give the oil change a couple of times. And I, I don't. Do you know Antonio Brown? Is the, he a uh, f- football player? Yeah, football player. He, uh, he was on several different teams within like three months or something because he's yeah. like nuts. Yeah. Anyway, uh, the establishment that I work for uh, houses certain football teams uh, during the season. So once he he came here, uh, he didn't have a car. Because he was oh. waiting for it to come from Florida or somewhere or whatever, so he needed to ride someplace. So I gave him a ride in the Prius. So it's oh. a famous car. Yeah. Then I let him use my van, my dad van, the next day <laughs> to go sign his contract with the team because oh. his car still wasn't here. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, Antonio Brown. So we're good buddies now. Yeah. Where's yeah. he playing at now? Nowhere. Nowhere. He oh, suspended he's break games. Well, I mean, they, somebody might sign him. I mean, he's still pretty good. Was he the he, guy that didn't want to wear his helmet? Yeah, that's okay. the guy. Yeah. <laughs> that's a guy. I don't know how I associate myself with with these uh, knuckleheads. I think, yeah. but somehow I attract them all the time. Mm-hmm. Just comes to me. But all right, so I kind of want to do a lightning round thing here with you. You know, I just, I just kind of thought of it. Okay. So let's do uh, best and worst interviews, right? Yeah. All right. So I'm gonna I'm gonna name off a name, just off the top of my head here, because I. I Kind of remember who you've talked to. Okay. Uh, Alexa Bliss. I never interviewed her. Fuck. You played video games with her. Though. I played video games with her. Yeah, I I beat her in uh, some video game, some fighting oh, game. Oh shit! No, this is yeah. not going to work. Now, damn it. Yeah. All right. Well, that's okay. <laughs> well, but Alexa Bliss though. Yeah. Yeah. How is she? Um, she's not very good at video games. No. Okay. Yeah. Beautiful woman though. Huh? Oh, tremendous. Yeah. Yeah, fantastic. Fantastic. Good. All right. So what have been some of your best and worst interviews then without doing a lightning round? Um well we can if do can we can in. do the lightning round. Yeah, I just I just don't know who to name off. <laughs> yeah. Uh well I'll tell you some of my best interviews yeah. I think are um the Conan one with uh we talked for about an hour and a half just about Stevie Wonder. Mm. So that was really cool. I can't wait for everybody to hear that. The people that have heard it said it was awesome. The people on uh, Conan's Patreon. So, um, yeah, I'll be releasing that maybe in the next, next month or so. I'll do it sooner, man. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I got I have another episode coming out tomorrow. Okay. With right. Rich, Rich Davis from Cavino and Rich. So that, yeah. that'll be out tomorrow. Okay. Um, yeah, the Conan one. Um, you know, I did one with Vince Russo's son. I did see that. Yeah. 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 He, how old and is that guy? He's a, he's a, he's, a, he's, a, he's a little bit younger than, than we are. He's yeah. like, I think he's in his, like, he's around 32 or 33. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah. Um, but he, at that point, he didn't really do any podcasts. Like he, he was just coming out into the public, you know. Right. Like Vince and him did a show later on, but I think when I had him on, he hadn't really done much. So I did a. I think it was a really, really good interview with him. So. Yeah. Yeah. No, I did. I, did, I watched a little bit of it, and then uh, kids and stuff. I had to put it down. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. All right. Good. Who's worst the interviews. Worst. Um. The most recent time I had Vince Russo on. Wow. Was, yeah. Wow. It was fucking terrible. I had this great idea in my head to do um, because he he said he went to WrestleMania four and five. Okay. When it was at Trump Tower, he you know he he lived in New York and um, he's always said that he went to it, but I've never heard him talk about it. So I wanted to have him on my show and we do a watch along of some of the matches. Sure. And I'd get to hear his experience of going to this thing, you know, in 1988. So I I bring him on and we start watching it and he doesn't remember anything. <laughs> I'm like, yeah. Where where were you sitting? Were you up close? Were you in the in the nosebleeds? He couldn't tell me. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Like, how much you, you know? How much was the ticket? Who'd you go with? You know? Did you buy any merchandise? He didn't tell Nothing. me anything. Yeah. Wow. Well, I mean, I, I can kind of relate to that because I, sometimes I don't remember what I did three days ago either. Yeah, but I mean, something something that big, you'd think you. Yeah, you would think so. A little sure. bit, or at least make it up, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Something. Wow. All right. Well, good. Another hmm. bad one was. Um, it was on my second episode, so I was brand new. I didn't know what right. I was doing. Um, and there was this this girl singer. She's from the band Valora. Okay. Her name is Sid Durant. She is uh, a beautiful woman, an amazing singer. And um, I, I was I've been a fan of their band for a while, and I had her on my show, and I just fucking I didn't know what I was doing. You know, <laughs> it was just really bad. I can't explain. It, it was fucking awful. <laughs> Is that up? Can we it's, see? It? Yeah, it's on YouTube. Yeah, if you go back okay. to YouTube, it's on my second episode. It's so right. bad. I'll have yeah, to definitely so, check that. I was out. so nervous. And, <laughs> yeah, I just was not prepared for it. All right. Yeah, because I did see the one. Didn't you interview some like porn star or something too? Yeah, she is. Um, I I wouldn't call her a porn star. She's like okay. she is like um a many vids page. Mm, mm -hmm. Yeah, but yeah. she's also <laughs> uh, loosely affiliated with uh, Keep It One Hundred. Okay. Yeah, okay. but she's yeah, she's really cool, and that was a fun interview. That was really fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. she she was a good time. Well, good, good. Yeah. Um, I do want to ask you one more thing about um this picture I saw when you went to All In, and well, actually, I saw some of the videos too. You, from what I remember, I think I saw you get into one fight, maybe in, in yes, <laughs> in the entire time that I've known you, and I've known and it was on what, no, it wasn't on stage, but I did. It was around you. That time. You jumped off stage. Yeah. You yeah. st we we were playing mid song. Yeah. You could drop your bass right yeah. off the stage. Yeah, it was it was like a, a needle scratching a record. Like, what the fuck is going on? Where's it was ball? in that bowling alley. What was That's that bowling right. alley venue? Ah, I can't. Fireside Bowl was it? Fireside Bowl. Yeah. 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 I remember you yeah, were but that, that same kid. It was that same kid that I got into a fight with him at our practice spot, right? That's right. It was yeah. really a fight. It was more of me just beating the shit out of him in, yeah, in the middle of Main it. Street. In Main Street. Yeah. Main Street. Yeah. <laughs> I'm surprised uh, Skokie's finest didn't because they were right down the street. Yeah, back then yeah. they were. They moved. <laughs> oh, did they? Yeah, they're on. Uh, they moved to um, by the McDonald's on Tui. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah, a little bit bigger. Oh, it's it's like a it's huge. Yeah. Wow, that's unfortunate. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, such a great town. Yeah, yeah. Yellow Line still there? Yellow Line is there. They have another right. stop now. There's wow. Next, there's a stop Where? on Oakton. Oakton. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Well, when I pay a visit, maybe I'll have to take a ride on there. Yeah. I don't think yeah. it's still two dollars though, is it? It's probably more. I wouldn't. A take little bit. It. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't go on there. So at All In, um, you went up to this like kind of bigger guy. You kind of you know looked bigger. Yeah. I, I, I don't know what you told him. You told him to sit down or something? I did tell him to sit down. And yeah. now you can buy a t-shirt that That's says right. sit down in yeah. the all-in font. <laughs> and it's got a picture of me, you know, yelling at these two guys. Yeah. No, what happened was I was sitting in the, I think it was the front row of the 100 level. Right, right. So it's just off the ground. And then this guy, um, he was like, 
four people wide. He was very right. wide. He wasn't. <laughs> he was like as tall as me, so he wasn't a tall guy. Okay. But he was like four of me standing next to him, just, sure. just a really big, fat, wide guy. And this guy would not fucking sit down the entire show, right? I hate those guys, man. Right yeah, he stood up the whole show, and everybody else is sitting down. But right. He would stand up, you know, because he, you know, um, and then um. I think it was like Kenny Omega, right? Mm-hmm. I don't know who he went against, but I never, I've always heard the name Kenny Omega. I didn't, I've never seen his match, any of his matches. I, right. I'm, not a, I'm not a fan of that stuff, but I wanted to see this guy. Here I am. Yeah. I, I want to watch this guy wrestle. And this guy just wouldn't sit down. I just kept yelling at him, sit down. <laughs> and everybody else in, around me was yelling at him. And he just right, wouldn't right. So, so finally, um, I just got up and I went over to the guy. I'm like, dude, sit the fuck down. You're blocking everybody's yeah. view. What and did he say? He's like, I don't have to sit down. I don't have to do, you know. So then um, his friend gets up next to him. Mm-hmm. And his friend was like seven feet tall. Right. Yeah. So then that guy, and I'm starting yelling. We're yelling back at each other. <laughs> and uh, then the security came and, and broke it all up. But he never, he didn't get up again. Good for you, man. Fuck that guy. So when I got back to my seat, everybody was thanking me. And uh, well, good. good. As actually, oh, you know what? I actually, um, I think I took my friend's cane. My friend that I was with had a cane, right. and I think I poked him. I think that's how close we were. Yeah, he must have been close if I could reach him. But I, yeah, I leaned over in my seat and I poked the guy. Yeah, and I'm like, sit the fuck down, man. Wow. Yeah, wow. but it, yeah, it, yeah, it all it worked. So well, good, good for you, man. Good for you. Yeah, yeah I hate people fucking like that. And it's like you know, there's a certain time to stand up. Yes, yeah, everybody yeah. stands up. You do it, and then sit the fuck down. That's it. Yeah. So my my friend Hambone, he was with me. He was I gave him my phone to film it, right? Right. So he filmed this this interaction, and then uh, I ended up getting like a nice still frame from it. And uh, yeah, it's iconic, man. It's oh, it's beautiful, beautiful. I'll I'll put the links up below here, so everybody go check that out. Um, but yeah, man, that that's pretty much all I got. I definitely want to catch up with you some more. Yeah. Um, you have my number. You know how to contact me. I'll be waiting for some more shirts to let me know where to send the money to. Yes. Um, but yeah, it, it is so great to catch up with you, Mike. Thank you so much for coming on. Is the interview over? Are we winding down here? Yeah, yeah, we're winding down. I think the kids, the wife upstairs, I, that's why I hate doing interviews. Yeah. I like when it's live because she will leave me alone. Well, you should have told her it's live. Uh, not, then she watches. Ah. Yeah, she'll watch and then she'll like comment in live chat and stuff like that. So. Yeah, okay. yeah. We call her Ramon on the show. Ah, mm-hmm. alias. Right. Yeah. Well, That's... it's it's been a pleasure being on your show. I love going on other people's shows. I oh hate, man, you have I hate open, doing my own. Invite, you know? open invite any fucking time, and I'd love to have you on one of the ridiculous live shows. Actually, I think I'm not I, too into those. Oh yeah. Well, anytime you want to come on though. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you. I, I will. I would like you to come on my show. I'm there, so you so we'll, you we'll let me know. Up. Yeah, yeah. You know. We're wearing each other's shirts right now, so I know it's the the. Where can they get this Gemo the Icon T-shirt? I mean, you can look on uh, GemoTheIcon.com. Also, just uh, go ahead and order them. Um, where can I just contact me anywhere yeah. on the Instagram and all that other good shit? But people know where to find me. Where do they find you, my friend? I mean, not say you know everybody's on my show now, but. You, my friend, you've got like millions of fucking followers everywhere. You're, you're <laughs> thousands. You're up there. You're, you're big time. Um, you can find me on Twitter at Mike Durban, D-U-R-B-A-N-D. Instagram, it's Mike Durban Show. ProWrestlingTees.com slash Mike Durban. I have many, many shirts, including one with Melina on it. Beautiful. Uh, I got Ruck LaRue shirts with you on it. <laughs> yes. <laughs> That's the best shirt. That's one of the best shirts on there. So. I love that shirt. Yeah. Um, what else? Uh, YouTube.com slash Michael Durban. You can see the WrestleMania 19 video starring Gemmo the Icon. You come out of the hotel right after Hogan came yeah. out. <laughs> <laughs> and everyone's like, who is this guy? Oh, my son was freaking out about that when he saw that part. Uh, yeah. yeah. And then uh, look, up, look up on YouTube. Get my go. Yes. Uh, we don't have a URL yet because I need to get 100 followers first. So please subscribe to that channel so I can get to the 100 level. Definitely. All the links are going to be down below, guys. Please subscribe to all the shows. Get my yes. go, Mike Durbin Show, everything. Follow him on the Twitter and all the other. He, he's a genius with, with, with everything that he touches. It turns to fucking gold. 
that no, that, that's you know who, you know who that is jimmy that's the person that is jimmy <laughs> yes you just described jimmy janopoulos the man who everything touches he that to is home. jimmy that is jimmy i still keep in touch with jim i just saw his i talked to his mom today oh yeah yeah, yeah. i just great. talked to his yeah. mom i saw her so yeah how's ted doing uh we'll, we'll talk off air about that yeah yeah for sure yeah. for sure All he's right. doing well, good he's doing very good good all right well i'm gonna end the broadcast um okay. And then, hold on one second, though. We'll, okay. we'll do some backstage stuff. All right. All right. Get my go. Get my go. <laughs>